Hello everyone and welcome to The Track. This week we're still celebrating Parks and Rec Month, so we'll recap live adventures with Educating and welcome back Sunset Cinema. We've also got some updates to the West Pearland Library and we're going to take a deep dive into engineering and public works. So let's get this train rolling on The Track. First, let's kick it off to Josh Heiberger with a shout out to Parks and Recreation. Thanks, Kathleen. Since Celebration of Freedom on July 4th, the guys and gals with our Parks and Rec Department have hosted nonstop events to celebrate this month. From Adventures with Educating Live, to snow cones at splash pads, to cornhole and disc golf events, they've been doing a fantastic job promoting all the fun activities and programs we have to offer here in Pearland. Their final event will be live trivia taking place on Saturday, July 31st. But don't be confused, Parks events aren't slowing down one bit. In August, it's lights, camera, action as we roll back into Sunset Cinema, which will take place each and every Saturday night during the month of August. Keep a lookout for which movies we'll be playing and on which dates over on the Parks and Rec Facebook page. Thanks for that, Highberger. Now it's time for City Council Roundup. During the July 26th meeting, the Pearland City Council approved actions for the awesome new Public Library Branch due to open at the end of the year, located on Shadow Creek Parkway, west of 288. A technology contract was approved with about $540,000 worth of modern additions to the Pearland landscape. But more significantly was the designation for the name of the building, the West Pearland Library. The West Pearland Library is one of two libraries within Pearland, both operated by the Brazoria County Library System. Everybody is excited for the opening, so stay tuned. Second, Council authorized the contract for the refurbishment and remounting of an ambulance box onto a new chassis. The Pearland Fire Department has experienced consistent issues with one of its reserve ambulances, which often puts that vehicle out of service. To remedy that situation, fleet and fire staff recommended the ambulance box that transports patients to be remounted onto a new chassis. Repurposing the existing modular ambulance box will allow for a quick turnaround on production and is the less expensive alternative to a completely new ambulance. Now, I don't know about you, but I didn't know that you could remount an ambulance box onto a new chassis. Speaking of things I don't know, Let's go to Josh Lee for a brand new segment. Hello, and welcome to a new segment on the track, a segment that we're calling Minute with a Manager. We're gonna take a minute to talk with a manager from the city of Pearland government and learn a little bit about what they do for the city, uh, what their department does, what responsibilities they have, and then anything else you might be able to learn in that amount of time. Our first guest here is the director of the newly merged Engineering and Public Works, Robert Upton. Uh, he's been with the city for uh, a number of years in the engineering and capital projects department. And recently those two departments were merged with engineering and public works to bring all that together. So are you ready for a minute with a manager? Absolutely. Okay. Let's, let's do this. Let me get my timer going. Oh, yeah. Hang on. All right. Ready? Definitely okay. tell this is first run. Yeah. First run. All right. On your mark, get set, go. So, what do you do for the city? Currently right now, I'm the Director of Engineering and, and I almost said Capital Projects, ah, but see, it's still new. Yeah. So Engineering and Public Works, okay. recently formed uh, less than eight weeks ago. And, and what does that mean exactly? What do you do in that role? So in that role, I provide the leadership associated with the department so that we okay. can, as we combine both engineering, capital projects, traffic, and all the public works and utilities together in one department, we manage all of that and take a look at helping and how we best serve the citizens. Okay, and what does your department do for the city? What's its responsibility? Well, as I rattled off just a minute ago, we have utilities, streets and drainage, fleet. We also take care of uh, right away. We also do capital projects, engineering, working with developers and community development, and then finally also traffic. Okay, Lightning Red, how long have you been in public service? Five years, October. What's your favorite part of the job? Uh, I love working with people and my staff. What's your favorite candy? That would be, uh, ooh, Smarties. Okay, what's your favorite animal? My Labrador Retrievers. Oh, and we <laughs> did it! Thanks for joining us, we had a good time. Thank you for coming Thank you show. very much. And you've reached your final stop on the track. Thank you for coming along on this wonderful ride, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>